over in the Middle East following latest talks between U.S. Defense Chief Lloyd Austin and Israeli officials in Tel Aviv, Israel could gradually transition to a new phase of its offensive in Gaza, meaning more precise targeting of Hamas rather than widespread bombing. Chong Eun-ju has the latest. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant held a joint news conference in Tel Aviv on Monday to discuss the current state of military operations in the region. Gallant stated the Israel Defense Forces will gradually transition to the next phase of its operations in Gaza, in which the local population would likely be able to first return to the north of the coastal strip. Austin highlighted the importance of reducing harm to civilians, adding that protecting Palestinian civilians in Gaza was both a moral duty and a strategic imperative. And we also have some great thoughts about um, how to transition from high-intensity operations to a lower intensity and more surgical operations. In turn, Gallant stated Israel's uh, intent to continue its operations at varying levels of intensity, depending on the regional situation. We will continue to operate in different levels of intensity according to the situation in the, in the region. And Galan also expressed Israel's intent not to control Gaza in any civilian way, but to carry out the necessary operations for securing its future. Austin was the latest among the Biden administration to visit Israel since the unprecedented October 7th attack on Israel by the Palestinian militant group. Washington, Israel's closest ally, has provided intense military and diplomatic cover for the war in Gaza. U.S. President Joe Biden, however, warned last week that Israel was losing international support because of its indiscriminate bombing. The humanitarian situation in Gaza is dire. Nearly 19,500 people have been killed by Israeli military action in Gaza since October 7th, and more than 52,000 wounded, according to the Hamas-controlled Ministry of Health. The UN stated that much of northern Gaza has been decimated by airstrikes, and more than 80 percent of the enclave's population has been displaced. Tong Eun-ju, Arirang News.